Hello everyone, this is Reza with another how-to video and in this one we are going to talk about how to link certain lights to affect certain objects in your scene. It's light linking inside Unreal Engine, so let's get started. Here I am inside Unreal Engine. I have the Cornell box, the same Cornell box I used for the lighting tutorial in my Unreal Engine series. And I have two primitives that I brought from the shapes menu straight into my scene. There are times where you want certain lights to only shine on certain objects. Let's say you have a character, you wanna put a rim light behind the character to separate the character from the background, but you do not want that light to shine on the props around the character or on the ground that can basically change the way that you art direct your scene. In scenarios like this, you simply link your light to your desired object, not to the entire scene. And that can be extremely useful. And to do that, we use lighting channels inside Unreal Engine. So lighting channels allow lights to only affect objects with their lighting channels overlap. Let's put that into practice and see how we can benefit from this. Now I'm going to go and obviously I need a light. I'm going to start with the good old point light and we need two. As soon as I bring the first one, you can see it will have an impact on the entire scene. Obviously, this is a typical behavior of a light. It shines on all the objects in the scene. But let's say for whatever reason, we only want this light to work on this cube. We do not want this light to lighten up the room. We do not want this light to have an impact on the floor or the sphere. We just want to illuminate the cube. All you need to do is to go into details panel and just search for channel. It's under advanced rollout if you don't want to filter it. You can see that we have lighting channel zero, one, two. All you need to do is to make sure that your light source, the channel of it matches the channel of the object you wanna link the light to. So let's say I wanna switch to one and in moments like this, make sure to toggle out or to disable the zero. So I've got channel one for my light. I need the same channel for the object and look what happens if I go into the properties of the light and give it a bit of a, a recognizable color let's say blue make it a rich blue color here and I want to increase the candela intensity to something like 10 or 15 you can see this light is having an impact on the cube. If I select the channel for the sphere, it's set to zero. For this guy is set to zero, for the floor is set to zero. So this light ignores everything but the cube. Let's say I wanna bring another light. I'm going to use a spotlight this time, and I'm just going to position it directly above this sphere and you can see the highlights and the shadows of the spotlight casting on the ground but maybe we don't want that maybe we just want to get this light to work for the sphere only in this particular example i'm going to turn off zero set that to two and also making sure that the sphere is set to two Again, I'm going to go and change the color of the light so we can immediately recognize the light. 
and of course I'm changing the intensity to something like 15. Now you can see we do not see any color bleed on the ground, on this box, or in anywhere else. I can just move it out. You can see it only impacts the sphere. You can see how useful this is to be able to customize your lighting in your scene when you're trying to sort of push things a bit further and look dev your lighting setup or your lighting rig. Now we talked about the usability, let's talk about restrictions because of course any goodies like this will come with some gotcha moments where you kind of need to know what you're doing and how you're dealing with things. First restriction is directional light. Directional light still likes light channels. The issue with directional light is if I type in channel, it only accepts channel zero. So if I select this guy, the floor and switch that to, to one, and this one is set to one, this one is set to two. So my light channel for the directional light is set to zero. And this box right here is set to zero. So now it should work for the uh, Cornell box only. You can see we do not see this on to the box. We do not see this highlight on the sphere. If I just move this around, I'm only impacting the Cornell box. So light linking still works for directional light only if you use channel zero. That's the first restriction. The second restriction with lighting channels is the mobility of the light. So we have static, which is the cheapest to run, and we have movable, which is fully dynamic, the most expensive to run, and we have stationary, where you have certain level of controls during the gameplay. Uh, you can change the hue, you can change the contrast intensity, but you cannot reposition your light. Lighting channels only works for stationary and movable. So if you have static lights in your gameplay or in your scene, you need to turn them into either stationary or preferably movable. That's the second restriction. And last but not least, lighting channels with only affect direct lighting on opaque materials. So translucent or mask materials will not respond to light linking. That was it. I'm not going to drag this tutorial for no obvious reasons because to be honest with you, that's all you need to know to make use of light linking inside Unreal Engine. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next one, see you guys later.